Okay, so you've got the back to school supply list in your hand. This one happens to be from Aiken Elementary in the Leander ISD. This is all five grades. There's about 20 items on each list. Maybe you've started marking a few things off. Here's the big question Should you wait for tax free weekend or go ahead and pick everything up right now? KXAN's Arzo Dost went shopping with some parents who are sharing their tips and tricks. Sorry, excuse us. You may have noticed the crowd swarming the back to school aisles. We have kinder, second, and sixth grades. April Ham tried to avoid it, but it may already be too late. She's got okay. her school supplies list in one hand. Let's see. And kids in tow in the other. We're having a little trouble finding the folders with the brads and the pockets. Primary colors. All the primary colors, correct. Gina Rabari has hit a snag too. It's been kind of hectic. <laughs> She's shopping with her kindergartner and eighth grader. She needs some supplies that we can't get in the store. <laughs> we have to go somewhere else to get. Think of back to school shopping like Black Friday. These moms say have a game plan, know your list, and do a quick online search for any deals. Buying in bulk and splitting the bill with some of your kids' friends' parents is the best way to save money on school supplies like pens, pe pencils, sharpies, and markers. Sarah Skirball is a shopping expert with Retail Me Not. The online savings website has back to school coupons, but Skirball says you can also save by waiting. I get asked a lot if tax free weekend is a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. But Skirball so says you only save 2%. Still a savings. We have to go across the next door for that. For these moms, no, we don't need any of those. We need pencils. It's all about avoiding the crowds and making sure everything on those lists is marked off. Now, Retail Me Not says an on average parents will spend about six hundred and thirty-five dollars on each student, and that includes the supplies, the clothes, and electronics. And another tip they gave us. Follow retailers on social media. Stores will reward followers with deals, Erin. Yeah, you're learning along with parents because this is your first year for the back to school shopping. Yeah, it is. We've got a kindergartner going uh, to school this year. And so, yes, it's stressful, but we learned some tips and tricks from our moms. And one of those was you can't really buy everything at one store, so you've got to go to multiple stores to get everything on that list. And the other thing is you can actually price match. So if you found something online at one store and you're at another store, well, you could show them how much the price that you found online was, and they'll match it. Yeah, so just a little bit of extra time in the store can save you a few bucks. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much, Arzo. Good advice for all the parents out there having that same experience along with you.